Good afternoon and welcome to this BrightSparks training video. In this first video we're going to look at PC Act. PC Act is the client software that runs on your PC in the fire station and interfaces to the various RFID or barcode scanners you may have. To start up PC Act we first click on its logo and you'll see that it, when it starts up a flat red flash appears in the centre of the screen as it downloads new information from the web. PC Act has large uh, buttons for ease of use and these cover operational assets, PPE, some system management tools and if we look on the other side you've got systems uh, for recording tests on equipment, accepting equipment and uh, um, items into your fire station, you can do a complete inventory scan of an appliance or a fire station or a room. You can do a partial inventory scan. You can do an after use incident scan. If you've been out on a shout and used some equipment, you can record that equipment as serviceable and put it back on your fire appliance. Plus you can record who used that equipment at that particular instant. In a similar manner, you can use after use training scan to um, record uh, items that have been used at your fire station during a training exercise. Looking now at some of the buttons in the bottom right hand section of the PC Act screen, you'll see there's a review scanned item button. Now, if a file hasn't been uploaded to the web, you can go in and you can make comments and you can edit the current record uh, regarding that particular item. So you can indicate that it's failed and put a reason why it's failed. However, if that scan has been uploaded from that station into the web application, you can't up change any of the records. You can't edit them or delete them or whatever. It will just uh, signal that you're not allowed to do it. The Review All Scans button displays all the scans in chronological order that have been uploaded from this station. And you can see the scan ID, the date it was uploaded, uh, what type of scan it was, uh, what container, what that appliance these uh, scans were derived from. If it was an incident, it was a result of an after incident scan, you'll have an incident number in here so you can relate it to an incident. The number of items that were uploaded in that scan who it was scanned by, who actually went around and physically scanned those particular assets or registered the fact that they were scanned, and who uploaded it. Now sometimes this can ch change depending on um, what brigade um, authorizations you provide, and it gives you the date of when it was uploaded. Now coming across here, um, a little bit further and coming down, you can see that some of these larger ones are a complete inventory scan, and if I uh, review those, you can see the number of items that were in that particular inventory scan and that they were all sort of serviceable. I'll scroll down again and it gives you some you know, other information regarding it. <coughs> the upload last scan to web um, essentially gives you the opportunity to upload that scan again. It will tell you if it's been uploaded already that it already exists, but it does give you a chance to upload it again, which is sometimes useful. Now, this particular scan is a scan of some RFID tags. And if you look up here, it displays in the web application the RFID tags that you are uploaded. And it gives you the option of associating those tags with an asset class or select asset class to register these tags too. Um, and uh, for example, you can go down to the existing uh, and, uh, for example, uh, just apply them all. So if we had, say, 20 zip guns and you put an RFID tag on each one, you just put all the 20 of in a line, scan them all, upload them, and then just register them all to zip guns. The final button on it, message of the day button, flashes if there's a message of the day directed at your particular station or to a group of stations of which yours is one. And if you click on it, it will open up a, a dialog and it will display the message to you. Some final information regarding um, all the scans that are in here. If, for example, you're at a retained station and you've been out on an incident, and it's three o'clock in the morning and you scan the items that you use, but your network's down, the line's down, everything's down. It will basically still log in and save the file in the local PC. And during the day, if that 
um, your network is fixed or telecommunications return, you, it will automatically upload that file uh, that you recorded in the middle of the night to the system. Looking now over here, you can see that essentially PCX is made up of a, a flash screen that shows a, a, a display from your particular brigade, your brigade insignia, your brigade badge, uh, and the Bright Sparks logo. And if you click on the Bright Sparks logo, it will take you in with no more ado into the web application and let you do certain things. So you can do asset searches. So you can do a detailed search, and here you can sort of look for different locations and different location, different stations within different areas and highlight different and just get the results. And there's nothing found there because I've been to... Uh, uh, but if I, for example, come back and uh, select all, get results, we should get quite a bit more coming in here. So you can see this is a typical sort of... Report and as you can see it's pretty extensive, but you'll note over here if I click in any of one of these asset cards, you can see that uh, they quickly display quite a lot of information about these asset cards, and I can click on any of these icons to display further information. Details about cost and usability and the service uh, and others are deleted from this because we're coming in in a very basic way into this particular application to see uh, stuff. Looking now at the PPE um, classifications, um, if you click on the PPE um, button, it will bring up um, more options on the right-hand side. So there's a PPE registration, and this was um, a system we used for PPE registration, but we've now developed it, and there are better, more less long-winded ways of doing it. You can say that the following PPE that you scanned is going to laundry. You can signal that the PPE that you just scanned is accepted back into the station either because it's come back from laundry or it's new PPE that's been um, sent to your station. And you can also do a PPE contamination report where you can indicate this PPE is coming into contact with bodily fluids, asbestos or hydraulic oils or whatever. Now the system management tools brings up you know, some more um, so you can actually go into the system activate system menus and go into some of the system, uh, systems behind the front end of PCA. You can read scanners from the barcode. You can register a brigade badge. This is a personal badge that you wear, and it can be a digital identification for you when you scan items, or if you've been on a shout, what items you've used on that shout, what assets you've actually used. So you can register and know that you've actually utilised and used this various kit, like breathing apparatus, line rescue equipment, and so forth, and assign the fact that you've used it. You can assign tags, these are RFID tags, or they can be PPE numeric um, identifiers uh, to asset classes. So you can, for example, um, scan all Tunix 44 long series Tunix and assign them to asset class 44 long series Tunix. And you can also then scan an individual's particular PPE assets and assign that asset to an individual member of staff and so forth. Finally, um, coming down here, there's a little envelope that appears from time to time in here when you've got station mail. And that means that somebody in, at some time or other has, for example, right-clicked on an item and said, I'm passing this item, but I'm concerned that it's getting frayed or I've got a little concern about the serviceability of this item. And that message will automatically go through to your operational support group in your brigade. And they can respond to you, even though you haven't got an email address, that station.